Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Query Store feature in SQL Server 2016. As you know, the Query Store feature is brand new feature in SQL Server 2016, and it helps you to gather information about your currently running queries, and it also stores the information about your queries so that you can go back and analyze your queries. So in this demo, we'll be learning number one, regressed queries report. We'll be uh, taking a look and uh, we'll go on uh, over different options when we're looking at the report. Number two, overall resources consumption. Number three, top resources consuming queries. Number four, tracked queries. So here's my SQL Server 2016 management studio. And this is the database. In order to use this feature, you need to enable uh, a query store on database. If you right click on the database, go to properties, and you will see the query store right here. If it is enabled, it will start gathering the information about the database. So let's say that uh, it is enabled and it's getting the information that uh, what we need. So uh, if you go expand the database, go to the query store tab right here and expand that. And all those features that we're gonna look at uh, right here, the reports, these are right here. Let's go ahead and take a look on regressed queries. Uh, right click on that and click on view regress queries and we'll go through different options right here first of all the metric so if what kind of metric you wanted to look at this is just the duration right now how long this query took to run and this right here are the, is the query so if you uh, click on this little arrow you will get an option you wanted to do cpu time you wanted to do uh, duration logical reads logical writes memory consumption and physical reads right here so you can change any of that uh, up here the statistics total average uh, standard deviation min max uh, you have that option as well. So if you take a look on right here, uh, this will, uh, if you wanted to track this particular query, if you click on this little option, track this query, it would go in this track queries um, report. So you can right click on look at the track query report uh, instead of looking at all the uh, queries that it's showing. You can just, uh, if, let's say that there are a couple queries that's creating an issue for you and you wanted to track all that information that uh, query store will uh, get for you you, you can click on this little uh, uh, button right here and it will start tracking the information about that particular query so if you um, wanted to change the view right now we have um, right here the the uh, queries chart view you can change it into uh, regress queries in grid format you can change it in basically um, view regress queries in grid format right here with the information and uh, if you click on this this will show the text let's go ahead and click on this this will be the text this is the information that you can run this query and get that information and if you run this query you will see that all that information is right here so let's go back and take a look on different let's take a look on uh, grid format with additional detail so as you can see that now you can see the query in um, uh, plain text all the queries that has run so you can select any of the query basically it is currently running queries uh, or you can look at the history as well so let me go back to the chart up here is plan summary for uh, query this is the particular query that we have selected let's say this is the uh, mm, this is the query that's creating a problem for us we can select that query and um, and this is right here is the estimated plan um, also uh, you can take a look that if this plan you don't want to use you can click on this and it won't use that and you have to provide your own plan right here is a uh, force if you wanted to force this if you uh, would like to force um, uh, SQL Server a query processor to use this plan instead or whatever the plan you have uploaded you can upload the plan right here and uh, you can click up here and this plan will be used um, let's take a look on this plan summary in grid and these are different views right here uh, force plan right here if it's already forced you can if it's not working for you you can unforce that once it's clicked on force you can unforce that plan so right here uh, this is a conventional way of looking at uh, the query plan and uh, I'm not gonna go in to detail of this but uh, as you can see that it gives you a nice view uh, about the matrix that uh, this query uh, this is new and I like this feature a lot because it will give you option that uh, instead of 
duration, let's say I wanted to do that, uh, how many logical reads this is important, uh, it, this query does, because that is really a performance indicator. So I can click on logical reads and it will give you, give me the logical uh, read view of uh, uh, that query. You can also uh, look at the top section. Right now it is compact view. It was, it is trying to show everything on one page. You can also look at the vertical view, which uh, if you click, you will get uh, this kind of view. So let's go back to compact view. So this was uh, the regressed query queries. So let me go ahead and close this. Let's take a look on overall resource consumption. This is again about the queries that is running on currently the database. This is very slick feature and I can't wait to use it. Uh, right here some uh, options, grid, chart option if you wanted to do the grid this will do it like this and if you wanted to go back to your chart option this will give you duration, execution count, CPU time and logical reads. If you go back you can look at the grids right here. Let's take a look on resources consuming top resource consuming queries. This is again very nice. Click on that and it'll tell you that uh, most um, a resource con consuming query is right here and it'll give you if you just hover over the mouse right here it will tell you that this is the query that uh, is most expensive at this time or um, you can go back to your histor historical data as well. So if you have uh, uh, clicked on this thing that track the selected queries in new uh, it will start tracking that and uh, you can start running live. This is for troubleshooting as you can see if you, if you click that uh, and you see that um, uh, the um, up here the automatically update statistics for tracked queries if you wanted to just update the statistics of this particular query you have an option live option right here this is not available in SQL Server 2014 or previous versions this is very nice feature you can force the plan you can compare the plans you can view the query you can configure um, a different options about that query so let's go ahead and run this and if you want to, if you have more queries that you've been tracking, you can take a look on the report that, um, uh, sorry, that um, all the uh, just particular tracked queries, it'll give you options for that. So basically, this is it. This is uh, what I wanted to show you as far as a query store feature uh, in SQL Server 2016. It's very nice feature. And uh, I'm again, I'm very excited to use uh, uh, this feature uh, in my coming videos. I hope it helps.